one of the easiest ways to draw in 3D is to do an isometric cube and to do this you do the front corner of the cube facing you and you then project back the lines at 30 degrees just like this and when you've projected those lines back you can draw the edges in as well and then you can join the edges up to complete the cube on the back corner and you can see this makes quite a nice three-dimensional cube Another way to draw it, if you find that quite difficult, is to use isometric paper. And you can see here that all the lines are done for you. So all you have to do is draw your cube following the guidelines on the page. You could even lie this underneath some white paper and use it as a grid line. You might even want to use a light box to help shine the grid lines through the white paper to help you with your designing. To use this in your designing, first draw an isometric cube about the same size as the product you want to have in there. You can see I've drawn the lines on the inside as well. And here we have the top plane and underneath there we have the bottom plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a storage unit and I'm going to draw the top of the storage unit on the top plane. And you can see here it's quite a wiggly, curvy storage unit and you just draw it round using the cube as the guidelines for that shape. You can then do the same shape on the bottom plane as well. And you can see here I'm just mirroring it and using it and fitting it in the cube once again. When you've done that, you can join up the edges, just like this, and you can see it's only looking more 3D. What you can then do is add any storage cavities in the top. So I'm going to a nice sort of curvy storage shape at the top here, and I'm going to again use the crate, I'm going to do the edges to make it look more 3D, just like this. Once you've done your storage unit shape or whatever product you're doing, you can go around in black pen and rub out the pencil lines. Then use a colour pencil and just colour around the edge very scribbly, so dark towards the edges and moving out to become lighter. And what this does is when you scan it in to add to your controlled assessment, it allows the shape to actually pop off the page and make it easier to see. And so if you see there, there is a finished shape.